The long battle to preserve the former Notre Dame Day Canadians church looks to be coming to an end. Wednesday, the church's signature twin spires were taken down and demolition of the exterior has begun. The Save Notre Dame Alliance continues their battle in court, but it may not mean much regarding the building itself. Our Cam Jandro joins us now live with the details. Cam? Anna, the spires on the front of Notre Dame de Canadiens was the building's signature feature. And with those coming down today, the Save Notre Dame Alliance knows the building will soon follow suit. It looks like somebody pulled out somebody's, like, side teeth. Signature twin spires on the former Notre Dame de Canadiens church, now gone. It's a symbolic day today. I mean, they have been taking this building down for three months now. Uh, but what happened today is, is, has changed Worcester's skyline. After weeks of abatement work, demolition of the exterior has begun. And while the Save Notre Dame Alliance continues to battle for the building in court, they know the end is closer than ever. It, it would take a near miracle um, to save this building at this point. For Alliance member Randy Feldman, even though a lawsuit is active, the fight to keep Notre Dame standing ended when the city said no to using taxpayer money. The chances of that are extremely small, but that's all that's left. So I believe it's over because politically it's over. Alliance spokesperson Ted Kana has been advocating for the building more than four months now. With the final nails being driven into the coffin of Notre Dame, he wishes the Alliance went in another direction. Knowing what I do now, I would probably do almost everything differently. I think we put up a good fight, um, but some of what we did apparently didn't work. Now, Connor says he's still hoping to have a discussion with the building's owner, Hanover Insurance, to help prevent demolition. And he says he's going to continue to fight for this building until the walls come down with those spires.